<clears throat> all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you good morning good evening wherever you are uh, today we have as you see in the screen we have mr. Farid and Mr. Farid, uh, he uh, have a series of 100 lies. I don't know why you stop with 100. I think you should stop with 99. Now, I'm not going to make this uh, video long. I have an offer to Mr. Farid. I have an offer. It's called 100 Spank Challenge. 100 Spank Challenge. I call you or you call me. It doesn't matter. Choose one. I mean, I'm a very humble man. I will call you. Either I spank you or you spank me. No, CP. This is not a spanking party, CP. No, it is a spanking party and you are a coward. Making videos, talking to yourself, winning the debate by yourself, it's a coward. This be, it's a coward action. And you know, I, I can prove easy <clears throat> that all of you are a fraud. As an example, isn't it you who was in the video? with the shish kebab falafel the one who sell uh, 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 stuff in his videos uh, buy this take this when he was playing suckle me and you were shaking your your head and you are like shocked if you are not a fraud like Mimi hijab you will not agree with him even to play that video because you you fraud people you cut the video and you did not show people the truth so I challenge you to debate me, if we can call it a debate, I'm not going to call it a debate, I will call it a spanking debate, because one of us is going to spank the other one. So if you are sure from what you are saying, look at those videos here, look how many. If you are sure that you are not the one is lying, and I am the one is lying, I mean, why you will hesitate? What we will do is very simple. We will play your video one by one by order. As simple as that. And let us see how the spanking will come like rain. And don't forget, we will play the video of suckle him, suckle me. Christian Prince saying suckle me. And you open your mouth like, what? He said that? Like, what? This is the video, you cowards, you fraud. It was your holy sister hmm, speaking about playing with boobs, not me. So you filthy cowards, you cut my videos. And you show a part, but you did not show the whole, you know, uh, story. You know why? Because you're a fraud. Shame on you. And my offer is standing for all Muslims. And especially Mr. Farid. No CP. No CP. Listen at you. Uh, I wish I can play the video you and Mimi Hijab talking about him and the coward they challenged to the and Mimi Hijab he said do you want me to debate Christian Prince the people they thought there was a debate and then they play uh, a 30 second video and uh, they mute me and then did you say that the second I start talking I mute him and he called me bastard I'm not going to call him son of Muta. but look at this Farid scam fraud and Mimi Hijab if Mr. Farid have an honor I will give him a chance. If he is a person with honor, he will play this video I'm going to show in front of you, and he will say that Mimi Hijab was absolutely false when he said that Christian Prince is speaking bad, or let us say, filthy. I finished you. I finished you. You are the boy. All of you are a bunch of boys. Listen to this. See, they did not play the video. I, I was, I didn't speak about anything sexual. And this is public debate. This is not a private talk between me and the women. Why did not play it? Because you're a coward. Because you are a son of Muta. This, listen to your sister. I challenge you to be proud about her. This Christian princess, suckle him, suckle me, suckle me.
All right, some people are saying they cannot hear, so we will do this. Give me a second. All right, now you will hear. So I will play from the beginning of the video. Why the question? Abdullah, Abdullah, listen. Can you kiss the black stone or not? Can, can you kiss the black stone for me? When, when the next time you will go to Hajj? I want you to kiss the black stone for me. Oh, you want to, to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible kiss the cross. No, show me, show me. Don't, I, don't, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't kiss anything. Show me where why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? The pagan prophet? Why your pagan prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Why? Oh, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know where? You know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss? Why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Do you, do you, do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. 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 No, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must kiss. You must kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually. Ah, he play with his so, mother. Oops, tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? You, you must be okay. You see, you see, guys. You see, guys. You see, guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Not, Look what she said. Like okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus. A Muslim in the chat, he said, it doesn't matter what she said. What you said, you're, uh, it's ugly. I did not say anything ugly. If this is ugly, that's mean your prophet is ugly. I was reading what your prophet said. Your prophet said, suckle him. So you Muslims are a bunch of liars. And you are, you, you admitted that what I said is ugly. I will play the rest of the video, but I want to show you this text here. Look, look at this. Look how Muslims, they get their prophet busted. Even if she said what she said, that does not change that the fact that you said was dirty. What I was saying, I was reading the hadith of his prophet. Sakal me. You see it? He agreed that his prophet is a filthy, dirty man. This is a woman, she is online, this is a live debate, there's hundreds of people who are watching. And you know, I'm not asking her to suckle me. I'm saying to her, you're a prophet. In fact, after she said that Jesus played with his mother boobs and he is a guy, look how filthy, savage they are. They claim that they respect Jesus and they love Jesus and defend Jesus. In fact, they are playing video, avoiding what their sister, holy sister said insulting the messiah which they claim that he is a prophet in islam just to make a point against me say christian prince look what he said and look what i said listen carefully and love he played with his mother show me his a verse show me a verse saying that jesus he played listen listen you are obviously a trashy person you just insulted jesus for no reason you said jesus he played with his mother boobs right okay you, you listen you're a liar number one number two it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers is that true or not no can i suckle you okay let's read the hadith can i suckle you can i suckle see how filthy they are this is how the how, this is how the, uh, the sentence you're a prophet you order women to give their boobs to strangers can i suckle you the filthy cowards muhammadan they cut off the video and they say Christian Prince says, can I suckle you? They have no dignity. Your sister, holy sister, I'm not going to give her a bad word, you know, because she is like your mom. You know, exactly. She is saying something about Jesus. And you Muslims, you claim that you believe that Jesus is a prophet of God. Even your Quran says that Mary, she was a pure woman. So just to go against Christian Prince, you are willing to accept your sister holy sister muta sister saying that a muslim says uh, muslim women have no aids my friend when you say christian women have aids i have the right to answer in fact you muslims because you practice multi relationship you have more aids than anyone in the world therefore muslim women they will have aids more than anyone else so look at them 
They try to frame you. They try to insult you. They try to make lies about you just to make a point against Christian press. But you cannot. You are a coward and you are a potato. And this is how I say to the women, suckle me. I was showing her what your prophet said. And when he said to me, did you say that to her? I was saying, I was answering, reading your stupid prophet statement. He hung up on me and he called me bastard. For he is a bastard. Not only that, brother. Everything those people, they say, <clears throat> is nothing but a fraud. Not only this video. Cut. Delete. Attach. Glue together. Everything you say, it's a fraud. The prophet never said... Uh, uh, that Muslim women have AIDS because your prophet is stupid. How come Muslim women don't have AIDS? So Christian women have AIDS, your uh, Muslim women don't have AIDS? So you see, look at the stupidity. They insult us, they say Christian women have AIDS and if you say Muslim women have AIDS too, actually they have more than anyone because Muslim men, they go to, to, uh, to uh, Thailand, they go to all those areas, they are just sex tourists, and they come back with all the STD disease in the world. And what the first thing they do, they sleep with their wives again. It's a fact, my friend. Number one sex tourists in the world are Saudi, Qatari, Kuwaiti, you name it, and you know that. Now, My offer to the people of Suckle Me. I challenge you to call me. 100 spank challenge. Be a man and say I accept what you will lose. I mean, we will play your video. If you want, we can start from Suckle Me. Where even your private wife, she was ordering her sisters to suckle men so they can attend into her. Hmm? Is that true? And the funny, by the way, about the suckling, uh, according to Islam, if a man he suckled from a woman, she's still lawful for him. So what's the point of this stupid thing? Even if she's your wife and you suckle from her breast, still doesn't have an effect. So what this is stupid Muhammad is saying? And why Aisha is ordering anyone when I enter upon her, he have to suckle her sisters? No, CP. Aisha, she did not do that, CP. Uh, you see here, the Muslims, this is why I call it the confused religion. It says that Aisha, uh, you know, Whoever want to enter upon her, Aisha, Allah blessed her, used to ask her daughters, the, sorry, the daughters of her sisters and the daughters of her brethren to give him a breastfeeding who, whoever wanted, wanted to see Aisha. So Aisha, she have a secretary office. Anyone want to enter upon her, he have to suckle the boobs of those women. So if a Christian prince want to see Aisha, he will go in the office, what he will do? He will say, suckle me. I want to see Aisha. <laughs> what a stupid cult. And you know, as long as long, this suckle thing for adult does not have effect. So what Muhammad he did? He's just making fun of you. This is a fatwa. Hmm? This is a fatwa. This is your Muslim website. <clears throat> I don't know what happened to this website. Hold on, let me change the size of the font. They are asking, a guy is asking that he had sex with his wife and he was, during the sex, uh, he, you know, he put his mouth there and, you know, uh, a drop of uh, milk fell down in his, his stupid questions in Islam. This is what Islam is about. What is the ruling of drinking one wife milk? The ruling is simple, no, no effect. No effect. So what Muhammad did? Why this woman she have to give her breastfeeding for the man? And why she is ordering the rest of her sisters to do you know, breastfeeding? 
No effect. I mean, it's very stupid in this cult that they come with things nobody can even think about. Actually, there's a fatwa of an imam. He said that a Muslim woman, in order to go to work in public, like, uh, you know, wherever she go, she have to do breastfeeding at work. Breastfeeding, not like they say to you, take uh, milk and put it in a cup. It's called sakalin. It's called sakalin. Sakalin, you don't suckle from, the, uh, from, from, from a cup. So... What, what this is all is about? Nothing except the stupidity. Muhammad is making fun of those Abdul. Because there is no effect. According to Islam, there is no effect if you drink or suckle a milk from a woman, even if she is your wife. So what is this about? What's well, about that Muhammad is making fun of those stupid who follow him. And what is about that when you say something, they say to you, you are a liar. But Aisha, she is believing in that. And Aisha, she is ordering her sisters, and the hadith is sahih. And he would say, no CP. Okay, I challenge this Mr. No CP to say, Aisha, she was a fool. Say it. Say, Aisha, she was a fool. She's a stupid. She's a donkey. Hmm? So, to Mr. Farid, I offer you a great opportunity. 100 spank. And what we will do is very simple. Look, your videos is organized one after one, from line number one to line number 100. And I advise you to bring Vaseline with you and some cream because your bum will turn red. You don't need, by the way, you can go live in your channel. This way, nobody can mute anybody. If somebody mute, people will see in the other side that I am muted you the same as uh, Mimi Hijab was doing to me and he hang up of, I did not even talk. Cowards. So be a man. And we will start from lie number one and spank after spank after spank. I'm not going to spank you, by the way. I will spank your prophet. And this is what you are afraid. You are intimidated. You are a coward like Mimi Hijab. This is why all of you are avoiding debating me. This is the whole story. You are very much intimidated. You know you are no match. And if you are really truthful about what you say here, hmm, why you don't call me and we will go one by one. Lie number 71, lie number 83, lie number one. I mean, come on. You can do it. If Fifi, if Mimi can do it, why you cannot do it? Hmm? <laughs> Christian princes want to be a big mistake. <laughs> anyway, so guys, please download the video, share it, and show the world how coward they are. Now, if the if he if this man is brave, what he will do? He will say, "Okay, that's great." And you know what? I have a promise in the front of everybody. I will never hang up on you. You can scream. You can shout. Even you can curse me. I will never hang up on you. I will never mute you. Hmm? Promise. Promise of a man. Can you do the same? You will never hang up on me. You will never mute me. You go live in your channel. I go live in my channel. We call in Skype and we have fun. And let the world enjoy the party. But I'm telling you from now, you are a coward. If you, if Mimi Hijab is your, is, is, is you know, you are the boy of Mimi Hijab. I mean, what kind of a knowledge you have? This is why they don't dare. You know, the problem with those people is they are so much intimidated. They have no courage. They cannot really. Okay, you make a video, you debate yourself, you win the debate for sure, and the Muslims, whatever you say, they will agree with you, brother. Actually, nobody is even watching your videos. Look at this. 2.8 view. I'm giving you a chance, actually, so people will watch your videos. So, Christian prince, prayer to uh, Allah, pray to Muhammad. No, he prayed two, not four. Hello? 3,000 3, K two weeks ago. Nobody is watching your videos. I'm giving you an opportunity to be famous. You know, they say, don't make the fool famous. I will make you a famous person. By the way, when you call me, you can say you're a liar. You can say you're a fool. You can say, you can play the video of suckle me. You can do whatever you want. I will get you busted. 
So let us see who want to bet that those cowards will never accept to challenge me. Who want to bet that those cowards will never dare to put their head close to my head? Potatoes. And the funny Mimi Hijab is using this boy to refute me. Why Mimi Hijab don't refute me himself? He, because he did, they are the same quality. Both of them, they have no knowledge. No CP. There's difference between Deek and Dean CP. <laughs> anyway, so guys, I'm not going to keep this video for, I mean, uh, 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 I don't want to make it long. I just wanted to to show you how coward they are. And this is an open challenge. I have no excuse, right? I mean, do you, do you have an excuse? I promise. I cannot swear because we are not allowed to swear. But I promise. Hmm? And you are my witnesses. I will never mute him. I will never hang up on him. I will never stop him. We can speak as much he want. You know, crossfire talk. He promised the same. He will never mute me. He will never hang up on me. He will never leave until we finish. And you know, to make it simple, we can make it like one hour at a time. Like I say, uh, lie number one uh, uh, to four. If this is, will take one hour, we will stay for one hour life. Second day, we come back again. I mean, it's fun. Let the world enjoy the party. But they will never, never dare to do so. For they are scared and terrified. The same as Mimi Hijab, when he said to the Muslims, who wanna, which one you want me to debate? People believe him. They thought this guy really is going to debate. Like, come on, he is saying, who you want me to debate? And then people, they start to, saying to him, Christian Prince, Christian Prince. So Mimi Hijab, he said, I cannot debate this guy. I'm going to play video for him saying, suckle, suckle me. And then I will mute him. Then I will play the second part. Then I will mute him. Then I will play. And they put even the computer far away from the speaker, from the microphone, so nobody can hear me. And then they, the first thing, the, the first trick we will do, we will make him look bad. He said, suckle me. And he spoke about AIDS, but we will cut everything off. But look at the decent people insulting a poor man, making fun of him, the apostate prophet. I would say poor because he's a nice person. I'm not saying poor, he's a poor. Look, the decency. Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe? who may be attempting to sexual lure his sister as we speak. So he's upset from me reading the hadith of the prophet saying to his sister, who is filthy like his prophet, saying Jesus, he played with his mother boob and he was a guy. Yet he is saying that because this guy, he insults Islam, he exposed Islam. Look what he's saying about him. You see the decency? Or hypocrisy hypocrisy is a way of living in Islam why why this incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting to sexual lure his sister as we speak you know what Mimi Hijab you will never say that unless you are doing that your sister there's no man will say that to somebody unless he is thinking about it Filthy coward. And because he don't, they don't respect their mothers, you know, they insult the mothers of others. So he called me bastard. So now I have to call him bastard. An insult to his mother. Why? Why you bring an insult to your mother? Because you're a filthy man. You have no respect to your mother. So my friend, we welcome Mr. Farid. And I promise you, Mr. Farid, I will call you Mr. Farid the whole video. I will not call you potato, tomato, no, no. I will be sure to treat you nice. And again, a promise of a man. I will never mute you. I will never hang up on you. I will never, don't let you give a chance to talk. Me and you, we will talk. Be the man and accept. Again, you don't have to call me. I will call you. Look how big you are, man.
Christian prince is calling you? Hmm? I mean, how for how long I will chase those Muslims? Mimi Hijab, I am the one is calling him. He don't dare. We waited for 40 minutes, the coward, and he did not call. And the problem, the camera. <laughs> but the cameras are plug and play. I mean, it's even a computer. So anyway, listen. We are waiting, and all Muslims are welcome, not only this Abdul. But I assure you, you are waiting for nothing. He will never, ever, ever dare to accept. If you don't believe me, wait. Wait until you see what he will say. Is he going to accept? Crossfire talk. Say whatever you want. Show the reference. Read what I said. Respond to me. And let us do the spanking party. And I'm waiting. Thank you everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord and Muhammad nothing but a fool ordering Muslim women to give their breast when this is have no effect. I mean, what do you think a Muslim woman, she is a cow, you faith is stupid prophet? What do you mean, you know, suckle him? What does that mean? What this will do? The man is a man. And, and the funny in Islam, adoption is forbidden. So what suckle him for a man will do? Stupidity. Stupidity is amazing. And this is what happened when you, fo you know, follow a foolish prophet. What you expect? What you accept? You, you cannot accept anything. I mean, this is what happened, right? And instead of getting some kids, I say to Mimi Hijab, like Farid and those people, you know, to uh, like in the video, they said inhalation, refutation, and then they got a kid saying Allah has nobody. Just type, go and go do you talk, do you talk? Allah has a hand. Allah have a foot. <laughs> Christian Prince lying. Allah don't have a hand. <laughs> Who said so? Who said Allah have a part? Who said so? Your prophet says so. The Quran says so. What a stupid cult. And what a stupid defense. I mean, the, the, the additional proof that Allah is a fraud. He could not find the smart people to defend him. Does Allah have a hand? Watch the video. He explained to you, yes, Allah has a hand. Does Allah have a foot? Yes, Allah has a foot. Watch the video. <laughs> Does Allah have a leg? Does Allah have... I mean, look at their fraud. Allah has foot. I'm searching in front of you. Does Allah have a human form? Watch this video. This is actually my video. I have a collection of uh, videos of Muslims. Zakir Naik. All of them saying Allah have a body, Allah have a hand, Allah have a leg, Allah have a foot. Yet those cowards, they say, no, Christian prince is lying, brother. One of us is lying for sure. And those are Muslim sheikhs, not me. Shame on you, potato tomato nation. Thank you guys for being here. I will try to come later at night uh, to be live. Until then, I say, if I could do it, I will be here. God is willing. And until then, I say, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. And don't forget to download the video and share it everywhere so people can laugh at the 100 spank to Fifi and Mimi. We are waiting for it if they're there. Take care. Have a blast.